Good morning and welcome to Bethany House and Garden's weekly meditation series titled Finding God in Creation. Each Wednesday we'll be posting a meditation video that has been filmed on the grounds of Bethany House to help you familiarize yourself with Bethany House and Gardens and also to invite you into a meditative pause on your Wednesday morning. Hello, today is Wednesday, December 9th, and it's the second week of Advent. And as a reminder, we're doing Lectio Divina with the Gospel lesson from the Sunday readings. And this week's lesson is from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. Um, and I'll talk you through the Lectio Divina. Uh, but as a reminder, I think sometimes when people start doing things like Lectio Divina, they're sure that there's one correct way to do it. And there's lots of different ways of doing it. I'll walk you through a specific set of directions that a friend of mine, Lindsay Boyer, has published on her website. Um, but there isn't a right way or a wrong way to engage in contemplative prayer. Um, the object is really just to quiet your mind and there's going to be times when you can't quiet your mind And I think that's an important thing to remember particularly during this time of year when there's a lot of distractions in um, out in our culture um, Even normally and with the pandemic we have some additional distractions that make it hard sometimes to settle down and find some quiet and peace in your mind and in your heart and soul so my invitation to you is not to try to get it right, but instead to just try to find some quiet peace and just take a moment to give you the opportunity for that peace to come if it's to come. Um, and to be patient and gentle and kind with yourself. So uh, in a spirit of kindness and gentleness to each other and to ourselves, let's take one moment just to quiet our hearts and our souls, and particularly our minds. Right. So as I said, we'll be in Mark, chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. And the first time that you hear the passage, listen with the ear of the heart. Notice if any phrase sentence or word stands out to you. Gently repeat it to yourself, allowing it to touch you deeply. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, see, I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. With this second reading, reflect with deep receptivity. Notice what thoughts, feelings, and reflections arise within you. Let the words resound in your heart. What might God be asking of you through the scripture? 
the beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. This third time, respond spontaneously as you listen. Notice any prayerful response that may arise within you. For example, a small prayer of gratitude or praise. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophet Isaiah, see, I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. And now this third time, or fourth time, excuse me, as you listen to it, rest in God's presence beyond thoughts and reflections. Just be. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophet Isaiah. See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. 
and people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. I hope this time, listening deeply to the gospel, brought you into a space where you found the presence of God. I hope you have a blessed Wednesday and a blessed week, and may you find God in creation.